in my travels between Woodstock and Socrates, I've, I've asked people, uh, you know, I wanted people to come to my studio in, in Socrates. So I said to, to Woodstock, uh, you know, how about you coming to my studio, you know, come over. I barely go that way. Hey, if I come over, you know, coming to Socrates, are you kidding me? That's 10 miles away. It's a lovely town. It's a beautiful architecture. It's really Americana in, in here in the Northeast. Anyway, I've also realized that the folks in Socrates have a hard time traveling to Woodstock. At that moment, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I want to make a love seat for the two community, identical love seats, uh, and each of them will practically you, send you to the other. And lo and behold, I came with a design that brought about my, what I call the love nut, which is basically a nut uh, that uh, it combines the uh, image of a heart and the sign, the infinity sign. So uh, what could be more appropriate? It's a bench. You can sit on it. And one would be placed in, uh, in Socrates and one would be placed in Woodstock. Each one have an inscription on it. Uh, Woodstock love nut, Socrates love nut. They will be painted red as my, most of my, my outdoor sculpture. And red speaks for love, so it couldn't be otherwise. The plaque will say, tying the knot of friendship between Socrates and Woodstock. And the other plaque will say, tying the knot of friendship between Woodstock and Socrates. And that will give you the hint of there is another piece uh, waiting for you. I would hope there will be some kind of a communication between the two pieces. And more than anything, it's a tribute to the two communities. The notion of interacting with my art and on top of it, managing to bring the two towns together or at least visitors from one town to another, that means a lot to me and that actually satisfies the mission of the piece. To bring forth the idea of conceptual art is a uh, wonderful way of actually translating a daily object into a story. Try it.